Hi everyone and welcome back to Interview Chronicles Season 3. Today we are in the 25th episode of this series and we have Swayam here with us who has been recently placed at Siemens as a part of his campus placements at VIT. He is here to share his interview experience with us and before we talk to him, let's look at the eligibility criteria for this company. So all students belonging to CS, IT, ECE, ECM branches were eligible provided they had a 7.5 CGPA or a 75% in their 10th and 12th and an 8 CGPA or an 80% CGPA in their pursuing degree with no standing careers. Now let's go ahead and talk to Swayam to understand his experience interviewing with this company. Hi Swayam, firstly welcome to my channel and congratulations on your placement. So would you like to introduce yourself first? Yeah. So, hello everyone. Uh, first, of, first of all, I would like to thank you for inviting me. And I am Swayam Dheer and I am currently pursuing Electronics and Communication Engineering from VIT Vellore. Uh, and I am from Mumbai. Okay, that's great. Thank you so much. Um, now, you can tell us about the placement process, like how many rounds were there and what they comprised of. Yeah, so, uh, Simmons uh, came in VIT around August and there were three rounds. So, first of all was an offline test. Uh, which was held on Hacker Earth okay. and then uh, there was two rounds of interviews. One was technical interview and one was the HR and manager managerial interview. Okay. So, yeah, you can tell us like what happened in each of them. How were the rounds? And what yeah, so the test was like, uh, uh, the test was ar around 150 people had been shortlisted for the test. Okay. And there were two roles, so around 75 people for each role. Okay. And the test was a two hour test in mm -hmm. which there were 39 questions. Okay. So uh, I had applied for QA role, that is the quality assurance role. So okay. most of the questions were related to testing. Okay. For example, UI testing, software mm -hmm. testing, mm -hmm. black box, white box testing, etc. Okay. And then there were debugging questions as well. Okay. Uh, and you could choose the language in which you want the code, for example, Java, C, C++. Hmm. So there were 39, there was no uh, programming question. There were only debugging and testing MCQs. Hmm. 39 questions in two hours. Okay. That was uh, the first round. Mm -hmm. Then after getting shortlisted for the technical interview. So uh, that interview was around uh, 45 to 50 minutes. Okay. So first of all, it was completely resume based questions. Okay. So the, the, like the, in, uh, the uh, internships which we have done, the projects and and specific to that, like uh, as it was a quality assurance role. Right. So they try to ensure that you have uh, achieved utmost quality in all your projects and internships. Mm. So they question you accordingly. Okay. Like what was your step when you faced the problem, etc. So mm. that mm. was the... And then uh, there were questions related to testing again, okay. making test cases mm -hmm. and uh, like for example, one question was that uh, if, if I, uh, I have been given with a PowerPoint presentation and if it's not working, so what are the test cases which I can use to find out the error? Okay. So that was the, that was a basic question. Mm -hmm. And then yeah, it, this was all about technical interview. Mm -hmm. After that, like again, after a day, I got a call for the HR interview. Okay. So HR interview was again, uh, since I am from electronics and telecommunication background, mm. so my, my main question was why to jump to software. Okay. Because that was the, mm. yeah, and all the people who were mostly there in the interviews were software except uh, me and some more people. Okay. So that was the main HR question which I had tackled. Mm. And apart from that, everything went smoothly. There was no problem in the interviews as well. So mm. yeah, this was the whole process. Okay, okay, that's great. Thank you so much. Now, do you have any uh, suggestions or advice that you want to share for your juniors or anything that you want to share that you learn from your placement journey? Uh, so, like, I have a couple of advices. First of all is that uh, I will tell all the juniors to keep calm during the placement process mm -hmm. because uh, even if you are not getting placed in a longer amount of longer period of time, that mm -hmm. doesn't mean that you, you won't get into a good company. Right. So, keeping that... Uh, pressure with you and then focusing on your studies and focusing on the skills are is very important. Right. Apart from that, coming on to the skills part, mm -hmm. I think coding is very important. Right. Though for QA role, they don't want proper programming, mm -hmm. but still you need some coding skills like debugging mm -hmm. and you need to know the basic structure of programming. Mm -hmm. So I would tell the juniors to like uh, pick up one any one programming language and master it completely. Mm -hmm. like, even do the basics of DSA because that is that is what you you can be asked in the interviews as well. Right. And there is no specific preparation for QA. Mm. So even if if you know coding, that is a very big bonus. Mm. So like the interview will real interviewer will really appreciate that fact. Mm. So right. 
and uh, and one more thing for only for electronics engineers and electrical engineers so even if the core doesn't allow us to study mm. coding but that that doesn't mean that you will restrict yourself right so you need you can start coding you have summer vacations you have a lot of time right now like the upcoming batch right. the previous batch mm. and yeah so that is all the skills which you want mm. and apart from this like in interviews as well like keeping the confidence and then not uh, uttering and uh, like not sticking in between while giving answers right. and that mm. is all what is important for the juniors to know i think okay okay that's great thank you again for sharing your experience and for the suggestions and congratulations and i'm sure this video will help many people so yeah. thank you thank you thank you Hi everyone this is Jishnu thank you all for watching if you did like this video please do like share and subscribe and stay tuned because a lot more interview experiences are coming your way